Susie, you say that people should hold off on paying bills right now. How do you go about it and why is that the key? Here's the thing, Cameron, we don't know how long this is going to go on. So really right now, cash is really like gold to you. So when you get a stimulus check, when you get your unemployment, don't go taking that money and paying off all of your credit cards. You need to keep that money because not everybody takes credit cards. Your landlord might not take credit cards. Certain people just don't take them. So therefore, if you have credit cards and things like that, just pay the minimum payment due. Hold on to as much cash as you possibly can right now. What about your utilities? Do you hold off on paying utilities? No, but I'll tell you what you do do is you pick up the phone and you call them because most of the major utility companies will say, oh, it's all right. You can go for two you know, months and not pay. It's all right. You can just pay the minimum payment due. They are willing to work with you, but you have to be willing to have the courage to pick up the phone and say, could you please help me? So many financial institutions right now are helping people. It's not even funny, but you don't know that they're helping you because you're not reaching out to them. So get on the phone, don't be ashamed, make that call and find out what kind of grace period you can have. You know, we talk to so many people who are paycheck to paycheck, especially in this restaurant industry that's been hit so hard, retail industry hit so hard. Um, what is your advice for those who have been paycheck to paycheck and are now out of work and have nothing, no backup plan? Yeah, you don't have a backup plan. So my first thing would be, and I don't mean this to sound harsh. I mean this to say, just remember this experience. Remember this, that next time when everything goes back to normal, and it will sooner than later, that you make it your number one priority that you put money in an emergency fund to last you at least eight months. Little by little, you'll get there, but don't let this happen to you ever again. But with that said, you're really in a far better situation, most of you, than you would have been even years ago when this happened in 2008, because now the federal government is giving you $600 a week if you qualify for unemployment for 13 weeks. If, you know, there are so many things, you get the stimulus check if you qualify, and chances are if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you will qualify for that. So you can, you know, you can try to apply for food stamps. It's called the SNAP program. There are all kinds of things that you can do. Do you have any money in a retirement account? Do you have any friends that you can borrow money from or that can gift it to you? But this is the time, Tamara, that you have to just summon up your courage and do whatever it is that you have to do. And if that means that you don't have any money to pay your bills, at least let the people know that you aren't gonna be paying them, let them know why. I've been talking about the first bit of advice that you gave, which was don't pay your bills. You cite credit cards, for example, but I want you to break it down for us by specifics here. First up, credit cards. Is now the time to max out the credit cards? I have to tell you, whoever thought Susie Orman would be saying this, but yes, now is the time for you. If you have no money, you have no other choice, and you're lucky enough to have available credit limit on your credit cards, this is the time that you pay for food at the grocery store. You put gasoline in your car to get to possibly a food bank or the grocery store or what, wherever you're allowed to go today. This is the time that you put it on your credit card and you pay the minimum payments due. But with that said, you call your credit card company and you ask them, could they please, could you please lower my interest rate to 0% okay. so that you're not being penalized for paying only the minimum payment due? So those are the things sometimes when you have nothing, you have to resort to. You've talked about if you had the power to change one thing about the financial industry, it has to do with credit cards. What is that thing? Yeah, it actually has to do with credit cards as well as any financial institution and credit scores. I wish we could have an absolute mandate that all interest rates that you are paying on anything go down to 0%, as I just mentioned a few seconds yeah. ago. I also wish that we were to able to freeze everybody's FICO or credit score right here and right now as to what they were before all of this happened. 